The Genius Scientist, uh, Genius Science Volcanologist, is a giant sinkhole that opened up after heavy rain over the weekend. This is the biggest he's ever seen in New Zealand. It really is quite arresting. The hole, which is 200 metres long and 20 metres deep, is now threatening Fonterra's uh, road access to the Bay of Plenty dairy farm. It was discovered by a Tumanui farm worker at four o'clock on Monday morning. Zach Fleming and cameraman Nick Monroe visited Tumanui, which is about 70 k from 17 k from Rotorua. Uh, to the farm where genius science volcanologist Brad Scott had also stopped for a look. You're right, right, right down into the earth here, going back 60,000 years. Uh, down the bottom of this hole, Zach asked him how the sinkhole had happened and if it could get any bigger. Basically here we're at earthquake flat crater. This is a, a summit crater of a volcano and, that, and the water is trapped in that summit crater and it percolates into the crater. The crater is also faulted. There's about six young faults that cross the crater and the water preferentially flows down those faults and it's what we call piping. It carries the sediment and material away from the fault and that creates a cavity and ultimately the, cra the cavity propagates to the surface and collapse occurs. Two weeks ago, six months ago, two years ago, there was probably a cavity under here and that cavity has been slowly propagating to the surface. The majority of the material is taken away in a solution. The clays, you know, think of a muddy river and how a muddy river in flood is carrying a whole pile of sediment in that. That's the process that's occurring under here. The rocks have been taken away. Cavities um, like this yeah, would have been present for many, many years. It's an artifact of this area. Um, the pumice soils, the faulting, and that the two go together, and this is a very common feature. Um, I'm not familiar with elsewhere in New Zealand, but certainly the one in the 60s was about the same size as this. The one in June 2016, a couple of kilometres down the road, um, was much, much smaller than this. This is by far the largest I've seen. It's percolating into the country, and it's ultimately, in the case here, it's ultimately coming out into Waikati Valley um, and over towards Green Lake um, and Lake Tarawera. Um, we're in the, this is the high part of the country here, and the water inside the country is flowing out through the groundwater from here. Is this going to get much bigger? Um, with further rainfall events, I mean the weekend's rainfall event was exceptional. Um, that's sort of you know one in 50, one in 100 year daily occurrence or daily rainfall rate. Um, this will erode back, the sides will continue collapsing and the hole will open um, you know over the next sort of decade or so. Yeah, to 27 degrees right? Ultimately, nature will want to restore it to 27 degrees, the repose angle, yeah. Yeah, that's fascinating. Um, the, the layers on, in the soil here, it's like, um, like when you cut a tree down and you can see the, the rings on a tree. How far down do you estimate that we've gone back in time? Um, <coughs> looking into the hole here, we've gone back 60,000 years. I can see material on the bottom of the, of the excavation. Um, that is 60,000 years old. There's a big stack above that of lake sediments. So when the crater first formed, lakes formed in the crater. And then there's a, a zone about 15,000 years ago. There's a very prominent soil I can see exposed. And then there's sort of the younger volcanic eruptions post 15,000 years sitting on top of that. But in the bottom of the hole, we're seeing back about 60,000. Good, great for you. I mean, your study of GNS and things, you can learn a lot from these sorts of Yeah, um, it helps reinsure. This is some of the best exposure. We normally have to rely on road cuttings, which are nowhere near as deep as this or as clean as this. Um, so we're, we'll get new information out of this. What kind of things do you reckon you could learn? What would it help with? Um, primary, that our landslide guys will be coming up from Wellington to have a look in the next couple of three days, um, and they'll be looking more deeply at the process. Um, I'm basically here just doing a reconnaissance to let them know, hey, this is worth coming to look at. It's most certainly as Brad Scott.